This is Twit. We'll start with the uh, the end of Windows 7. Right. So this is going to start coming up on your other radio show, Leo. Yes, I know. Uh, You're exactly right. Uh, so in April, Microsoft is going to start um, issuing pop-ups periodically to people still running Windows 7 saying, hey, do you know the end of support of Windows 7 is just around the corner? That's going to It's January terrif- 2020. Terrify people when they say that. Oh, yeah. And you know what's the worst part? Because I just had this phone call with my mom last week. When she sees a pop-up, she knows something is wrong. Right. Like it's, like it's malware. Yeah, right. right. Yep. Yep. So here, this thing's going to pop up on people's screens and people are either going to be, one, terrified, or two, just ignore it and hit the X in the corner and it's going to keep happening. Does it say okay or cancel? Uh, <laughs> we don't know. That's we haven't the, seen That's the, the good news. <laughs> <What is it? laughs> no, okay or please no. <laughs> well, I mean, what what are your choices? Well, no, my, Microsoft is going to let people disable it, right? If Which you was know one of the complaints. Do it. Well, we don't right. know what it looks like. I mean, it may be obvious. I think what Leo was alluding to is the the nonsense uh, behavior that occurred when you clicked on the OK or cancel on the, uh, yeah. the previous oh, trackware. No, no. yeah. Right. We're not going to um, have that as far as we know. But Well, we don't know. I mean, but we don't know. Yeah. I guess they haven't shown a picture of it. Right. No, but I think, I think what it's going to look like from people I've talked to is if you click on the X, you're going to get it again sometime because you didn't actually opt out of it. But there'll be a box, I believe, that'll say, do, if you don't want to see these anymore, click here. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that will be there. Um, Leo, and then the rest like of it, I think, will be... I, I know. And, but you, you know, know what? Nobody will do that, right? Like no. the people who don't know about this, they're just going to click the X and it's going to come back in a couple of months or however often they say a handful of times, um, a handful of times. What is, yeah. They wouldn't even say that? how often. What does that mean? A handful. It's between a bushel and a bucket. You wouldn't it's expect like a, these people. These are engineers and they're using terms like a handful. They, I think because they don't want to tell us the whole story, right? Leo, we don't think it's a... going to be every month. I don't think it's going to be but, every month, but I, is it going to be every two months? Is it going to be every I mean, month what, and a half? What are we doing about this? Let me read you something they from give you today. Some, okay. This is just <laughs> unrelated, but this is, you're talking about a team, you know, the team that makes Windows and their inability to communicate. They're talking about a um, uh, the schedule this year for 19H1, H2, and 20H1, uh, Donna Sakar writes, uh, after we get 19H1 nearly finished <laughs> and ready, <laughs> you know, there are engineering terms for that milestone. <laughs> That Microsoft refuses to use. Apparently, they were too clear or something. But <laughs> but you know th this is yeah, almost course, done. Of course, they're going to screw this up. You know, nobody I, I, wants to say RTM. <laughs> yeah. So or the, 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 Canada, my bigger or, concern, and it's the concern your mom will also have, is okay. okay. What mm -hmm. do you want me to do about it? Exactly. Right. So should one I thing download another uh, update to Adobe Flash? Would that fix it? <laughs> well, no, but this is the problem, right? So as we move in, into the latter half of 2019, into 2020, if you're literally running Windows, if you got a computer that came with Windows 7. And you're still running it because you and like it. And you're still it. using it. Yeah. That computer is not a good candidate to upgrade to Windows 10, nor is Microsoft offering a free upgrade anymore, right? So, right. and I think there's a reason for that. They do have a pretty good idea of what those computers look like out in the wild. And they know that either it's impossible for technical reasons or it just would be a bad experience in many cases. And uh, that really does put people like your mother or who have normal people yeah. in a bit of a bind because I think the way a lot of those types like your mother is probably a really good example is probably not a, a super heavy computer user per se. She no. kind of uses it for whatever tasks every once in a while. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, presenting her with this uh, idea of you having to spend money now on a new computer, which is basically the solution. Right. I don't think a lot of people are going to be okay with that. You know? I know. So what I think it's going to take you to is this Windows 7 page. I, I have a link to it in my story. And it yeah. says, what can I do to prepare when you click on that? And the first thing it says <laughs> is back up your files and photos. Then it says, check out the latest PC. So they're totally telling what? you, you're going to have to a buy a new PC. Yeah. No, that's this is the only solution. That's what I mean. Uh, there, yeah. we're not at the point anymore where there's some large base of users out there with PCs that even could upgrade to Windows 10, right? So, a lot. Not this is not uh, yeah. businesses we're talking about here, right? Where they may purposely buy a brand new computer 
What's and then the, back. Wait a minute, what's you the know, video? The There's a video. <laughs> what's the video? It's some woman driving a car. She's driving a car. Off a cliff. Oh, with a dramatic <laughs> end of life. Oh, I get it. She's turning in her uh, Honda. See, it's just like the Honda. Your dog <laughs> is dying. Wait, Remember wait. when regular gas was a thing? That's when oh, Windows 7 was around. They're taking away the sofa. What? What? And your wallet has... Uh, a gift next to it and inside there's a brand wallet. new wallet. <laughs> oh jeez, you gotta get rid of the Constanza wallet. Buy a new car, get a new sofa, and hand over your wallet. Cause it's time. All right, so clearly the message here is spending money <laughs> solves all problems. Yeah, and your Windows 7 <laughs> is just worn out like an old piece of wallet. Or she's gonna look at the dog and be like, "You're next." Same story, <laughs> new chapter. But wait a minute, if it's the same story, why do I want to spend two thousand dollars on a new computer? Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> hopefully, can, it won't be two thousand. What can I do to prepare? Back right. up your so, files and photos it, and check out the latest PCs. Can you grab both of your ankles with your hands. I hate you, Microsoft. <laughs> I hate you, know? you. That's terrible. Yeah. I know. Oh man. Um. But this is where we're at, right? It is. I, I I think the PC my mom has, which is probably like a five-year-old Toshiba laptop, yeah. probably yeah. could one run Windows 10. Yeah, couldn't she just buy Windows 10 for ninety bucks and? Yeah. Yes. Or or if she has her key, that's the works, right? If you have your product key, doesn't can't you still just enter Wait a that? Nobody and has. Upgrade? Nobody has. Wait a minute. You, if you yes. had a product key for Windows Seven, you could get a free yeah. copy no, no, of Windows Ten. Is um, that true? No. No. It has to be a retail product key. So you can't take oh. the product oh, right. key up okay. with a laptop. Off That's not going to work. But if you at some okay. point bought Windows 7. Yeah. You could but who did that? Do that. No, yeah, I mean, you're right. You know, you're right. Okay. The people who did that have already upgraded. That's that's what I mean. I, yeah. you know, ultimately, what we're left with here now out in the world are, um, you know, the non-enthusiastic type people. <laughs> you know, <they're, laughs> they don't care about upgrading to Windows 10. They right. never did. Or they never afraid. took advantage of it. Right. They didn't know about it. You know, whatever it is. Yep. But. Those computers, you know, if you, like I said, if you bought a computer That's true. at Best Buy or whatever that came yeah. with Windows 7 on it, I mean, how old is that computer? They're old, you know? Yeah. Some of the people years. in the chat room are saying that they have used their OEM key. And and well, those people in the chat room are dirty liars, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> don't count on it, I guess. Is the, uh, it might work. That's not my understanding, it. but okay, it's yeah. possible. Um, uh, okay. Because I do know yeah. a lot of people who knew about, and most of them called the radio show, the free yeah. upgrade to Windows 10 some years back, and yeah. said, but I don't want to do it. I like Windows 7. Or they did it, and then after a month, rolled it back to Windows 7. Yeah. So those well, are In that case, by the way, you could you could do that again now. Roll it, it forward. Be, that would work. So yeah. that's some that good would. advice, right? If you've ever activated Windows 10 on any machine... You well, know. it was good advice like three years ago. <laughs> but yeah, I, yes, I'm sorry. I guess if you did well, do that. Uh, actually, uh, that was can, my yeah. common advice was, well, try it. And if you don't yeah. like it, you can go back to Windows 7. And But at that point, you have given yourself mm -hmm. an entitlement to Windows 10 forever That's after right. on that. That's machine. right. Mm -hmm. uh, now, mm -hmm. the problem now, of course, is if you have a bad experience now, you don't really have any further recourse. There's no... I mean, I, I, you could install Windows 7 again if you, if you had that software, I suppose, but... Or some backup or whatever it might be. But, um, you know, the, the support is still coming to an end, right? So when that doesn't work, I guess, at that point, I guess you could think about looking at a, a new computer.